On February the 26th, 2002, the Come Away With Me album was unveiled for public consumption. It received waves of acclaim on release and began to sell by the bucket load, despite a distinct lack of PR or media hype. Blue Note's parent label, Virgin Records, clasped their hot new star to their bosom as a whirlwind of feverish interest accumulated around this most gifted young artist. Come Away With Me bolts together elements of jazz, soul, folk, country, blues and pop and transforms them into a warm, organic amalgam, erasing musical boundaries with ease and yet cultivating its own distinct niche. This is no clumsy hybrid, but a smoky, timeless sound which feels like it's always been here. It reveals Nora's inestimable skill as songwriter, arranger and pianist, as well as peerless vocalist. Nora herself composes the glorious title cut and the exquisite Nightingale, whilst collaborating with Jesse Harris on The Long Day Is Over. Elsewhere, Harris delivers gold with his own compositions, Don't Know Why, Shoot the Moon, One Flight Down and I've Got to See You Again. Lee Alexander is responsible for seven years, feeling the same way, and Lone Star, and brings Painter Song to the table with J.C. Hopkins. Nora also continues her guise as interpreter of other artists' material. She tackles Cold Cold Heart by Hank Williams, J.D. Loudermilk's Turn Me On, and Hoagie Carmichael's perennial The Nearness of You. Don't Know Why opens proceedings magnificently, its pillow talk vocals, haunting atmosphere, and silvery melody sending shivers down the spine each and every time you hear it. Oddly, on a record stuffed with high profile cover versions of classic songs, this is the one that sounds like a bona fide standard, but actually isn't. One listen is enough, and you're transfixed. With its stately piano, yearning backwards glances, heartbreaking suspensions, and perfect construction, this is one of the most beautiful songs of the modern era. One could imagine it to be an outtake from Carole King's Tapestry Sessions. The song's mood of sighing introspection marks it out as an obvious killer single. The pretty melody, cunningly worked out by Harris, manages to avoid mawkishness while maintaining a soft focus charm and adherence to classic songwriting structure that never fails to melt the heart. Next up on the album is Seven Years, a gorgeous, lucid number by Lee Alexander, ostensibly a nod to the plainer conventions of folk balladry and country song. Seven Years bewitches for the duration of its tight, attractive melody. One of the most affecting tunes on the record, it holds the attention with its sheer verve and the embraceable warmth of the recording. Relatively simple, taut and taken up another notch by Nora's impeccable vocal, it entrances with effortless ease. Lyrically, it depicts a little girl on her own, fragile as a leaf in autumn, in love with music and always looking for the positive. Could this be Nora? The version of the Hank Williams classic, Cold Cold Heart, is a masterwork, making the listener forget about the original in one stroke. Inspired by hearing a Dinah Washington version a few years back, Nora imbues her take with a sultry, raw delicacy which raises the hair on the back of your neck. This treatment has pathos aplenty. An honourable mention must go to Lee Alexander, whose prowling bass permeates this track as effectively as Nora's velvet swoons. Alexander's feeling the same way maintains the momentum with poetic grace. Reminiscent of Beth Orton at her best, this subtle grower marries a fragile lyric to a sleepy, slow-burning, luminous melody. The depressing inevitability of the song's words are in part leavened by its bittersweet tune. Come Away With Me, a Nora original, touches perfection. An unabashed, heartfelt, in-your-face ballad which puts the speaker's emotions on the line and invites either rejection or consummation. This sweet, expertly crafted statement of love scales the peaks of don't know why and evokes the old standards to which it aspires. Nora's delivery is awe-inspiring, so fragile and tender, backed by the most seductive piano, brushed drums and restrained guitar. This is as good as popular music gets, worthy of comparison with Eva Cassidy. The wonderful Shoot the Moon, another Jesse Harris original, follows. 
gentle, wispy, lilting, romantic and melancholy, this wistful piece is a meditation on the end of love and the mixed pleasure of reflecting upon it. Its calm fatalism and drowsy mellowness undercut the lyrical bleakness perfectly. Nora's take on the J.D. Loudermilk standard, Turn Me On, clearly inspired by Nina Simone's rousing version on her Silk and Soul album, takes the mood up to another level of intensity. The accompaniment is mercurial, with melodic phrases conjuring up the pleading emotions expressed by the singer. Nora's vocal flies from a light, soothing rainfall to a resounding, urgent clarion call. Her voice carries within it an unquenchable appetite for love. This is followed by Alexander's Lone Star, a slight yet delicious country-tinged stroll featuring Rob Berger's accordion. This could easily have been taken from the Neil Young or Johnny Cash songbook, such as its low-rent poignancy and ineffable charm. I've Got to See You Again, another Jesse Harris composition, is a stunning cut of desire and self-laceration. Built around a tango-like figure, it soothes but simultaneously pierces the innermost recesses of the soul. The narrator is in a state of infatuation and knows it, but is ready to submit to those powerful feelings rather than be repressed and entangled by them. Painter Song is another jewel, again doffing its cap to the old American classic songbook, whether it be David Gates or Irving Berlin. The atmosphere of barely contained lust and longing is maintained throughout the track with sterling piano, acoustic guitar and accordion accompaniments. Jesse Harris's One Flight Down is beguiling, suave, poetic, smouldering and eminently hummable. Conceived in much the same vein as Don't Know Why and Come Away With Me, this silky piano ballad possesses a moving intimacy, weary grandeur and late-night wistfulness which places it in the pantheon of great female performances. Yes, up there with Laura Nairo, Barbara Streisand, Aretha, Eva and Nina. This could go down as a defining song of its era, a new school standard in an age when such things no longer seem to matter. Nora's own Nightingale is a wonder, an acoustic gem reminiscent of classic early 70s Joni Mitchell. Steeped in the singer-songwriter tradition and punctuated by flashes of lovely rippling piano and economical guitar, this song is an elegant reverie, infused with romance, suspense and real beauty. The Long Day Is Over, the Nora Jesse Harris collaboration, is another pitch-perfect piece, evoking the lyrical mood of phased world weariness. Musically, it even encourages comparison with some of Nick Cave's recent ballads. It possesses a deep, warm sound and maturely relaxed feeling. Nora rounds off the album in magnificent style with a back-to-basics acoustic solo version of the Hoagy Carmichael standard, The Nearness of You. Her voice whispers, swoons and caresses the notes and you're left with the conviction that she was always meant to sing this brilliant song. It is a perfect way to end the album on a note of pure romanticism and hope. Upon the record's release, the critical fraternity embraced it to their hearts and were wowed by its sublime simplicity and emotional resonance. The public were quick to catch on as well, with the baby boomers recognising its harking back to a golden age of elegant songcraft, an M.O.R.-ish melody. The album wasn't preceded by much advanced publicity at all, and Blue Note assumed it would win an audience with the 30 to 40-something affluent crowd who listened to Cassandra Wilson and Diana Krall. With the jazz market being such a minority one, Blue Note put it out and expected no more than that. Radio stations with an ear for classic oldies and timeless melodies picked up the album and, don't know why, became a staple of daytime radio. The broadsheets and serious arts and music magazines fell over themselves to get access to this rising star, invariably swayed as much by Nora's sultry good looks as her enormous talent. She was featured by Newsweek and Time in the same week, Entertainment Weekly, National Public Radio, Rolling Stone and NBC's Today Show. There was press coverage from the San Francisco Chronicle to the Rocky Mountain News and the Atlanta Journal Constitution, to name a few dailies. She even received a gushing review from Robert Hilburn in the Los Angeles Times. 
Joe Brauner of Monterey Peninsula Artists Agency in New York, claimed that the response within the industry and from fans was unprecedented, quite unlike anything else he'd ever dealt with professionally. He argued that Nora was filling a need for musical purity and integrity at a time when the music industry had got bloated, chasing each big new noise or outspoken thug. He asserted that Nora's grassroots upwards success offered evidence that the public was still actively searching out new music, but were now managing to sidestep the traditional ways of finding it. always been a big fan of Willie Nelson and we got to open up for him and it was so cool because he you know he invited me to sing a song with him on the last night on, at his set and that was sort of a dream come true for me. On June the 7th 2002 Nora embarked upon her debut American headlining tour kicking off at New York's 1,500 capacity Town Hall Theatre having previously performed at a 150 seat theatre in the Big Apple. In the meantime, she appeared on a Grammy night edition of The Tonight Show with Jay Leno and contributed a vocal to Dirty Dozen Brass Band's Medicated Magic album, released on April 23, 2002. She covered Naomi Neville's Ruler of My Heart on the Craig Street produced record. Both Extra and Today named Nora as one of 2002's most promising new artists, whilst Jean Santoro of the New York Daily News made giddy, effusive comparisons with Billie Holiday, Joni Mitchell and Nina Simone. The LA Times ran an exhaustive piece on Nora and her band. Amazingly, one of her all-time idols, Willie Nelson, got hold of her CD and asked her to support him at San Francisco's Fillmore Auditorium in February for a stint of four nights. The grizzled troubadour even invited Nora on stage to sing a duet with him early in his set on the final night. This led to Nora participating in a star-studded tribute to the great man, dubbed Willie Nelson and Friends, Stars and Guitars. The television special was broadcast on the USA Network on May the 27th, 2002. Fellow performers queuing up to pay tribute included Dave Matthews, Keith Richards, Emmy Lou Harris, Cheryl Crow, Aaron Neville, Ray Price, John Bon Jovi and Ryan Adams. Nora was in heaven, performing with one idol and hanging out with another group of heroes. On November the 8th, 2002, Nora and her group performed the concluding show of a month-long European fall tour. Along the way, she played to packed out crowds in England, Belgium, France, Germany, Switzerland, Norway, Denmark, Portugal, Spain, Italy and Sweden. She performed on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno on Thursday, November the 21st, delivering a rendition of Come Away With Me with her band. A week later, she performed Are You Lonesome Tonight during a special one-hour tribute to Elvis on NBC TV. The Elvis Live special was hosted by Chris Isaac and featured U2, No Doubt, and Dave Matthews in performance, alongside interview segments by Sheryl Crow, Britney Spears, Bill Clinton, Bono, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Vince Vaughan. Nora's segment was specially filmed on October the 5th at Dublin's Windmill Lane studio. On December the 4th, Nora was honored to receive an award for Best Young Female Singer at the VH1 Best of 2002 award ceremony held at the Grand Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles. She performed Don't Know Why with her band later in the evening, augmented by John Mayer and his group. The ceremony was aired on the 15th of December. Just following the VH1 awards on December the 7th, the Nora Jones group appeared as music guests on NBC TV's Emmy award-winning late night comedy showcase, Saturday Night Live. They played immaculate versions of Don't Know Why and Come Away With Me, watched by the guest host, Robert De Niro. 